Before we get started, I want to give a quick shout out to Transportation Nation Network. I have partnered with them to bring you the best in trucking entertainment and trucking news on the web. Go to their website, transportationnation.com, and you will find that it is your one-stop shop for everything trucking. There's a lot of great trucking shows and entertainment there as well. I encourage you to go, sign up on their website, and subscribe to their shows so you don't miss any. I hope to see you there. Link is down below in the description. Good morning, everybody. Another day. Making our way onto I-94 here, eastbound. We're in Black River Falls, Wisconsin. About to go deliver our lumber that we got on our step deck behind us. And then headed to Minnesota. So it's not gonna be a lot of driving today. But there'll be a lot of work, a lot of waiting, a lot of work. Like I was explaining yesterday, when we get to Minnesota, we'll likely be there for six to eight hours while we're getting loaded. Which means we're probably gonna sleep right there. Continue 30 kilometers on I-94 East. I have to have that load in Kamloops, British Columbia next Monday, 7 a.m. They've got me all dressed up and it's not even Sunday morning. Being unloaded right now. Got all my straps taken off. There it goes. You see it? You just see the reflection of my jacket in the window. <laughs> Should be unloaded here in about five minutes. Looks like it's gonna be a beautiful day. The morning was just beautiful. How about that footage coming into town this morning, eh? It's gonna be a good day. I love mornings like that. I love watching the sunrise. So much better than watching the sunset. Turn left on Main Street. Well, we're headed out of town now on our way to Minnesota. It's a nice little Wisconsin small town. truck coming this way you are aren't you there you go oh and you're just gunning it too boy I'll use 10 bucks a fuel just getting up speed there and here we go <laughs> they don't call this town hall they call it they call it village hall it's not a town hall it's a village hall Look at these big old houses here. Wow. Well, they sure don't build buildings like they used to. They used to take pride in all the buildings that they built. Even this church here looks very nice. Now it's just like a warehouse. Just this big block Turn of a building. Right on Oakwood Street. Yeah, that's good enough for the church. Just a block of a building. Just an old warehouse. Do I have a stop sign? I don't have a stop sign, do I? No, I'm gonna just keep going. They used to take 
take pride in that and like especially that building. Continue but. three kilometers, then turn right onto I-94 West. nemesis the backup beeper oh, I hate backup beepers all right diesel how you doing buddy we're at the customer well we're at the shipper I guess the shippers not technically the customer you get it why do you look so bored were you just having your mid-morning nap no actually it was my late morning nap actually my mid-morning was before it's my late morning nap all right, well, I might join you for a noon nap. How's that sound? Sounds delightful. Thank you. All right, well, here I come. Here I come, Diesel. Here I come. Oh, here we are. Oh, oh you get to bathe in the sunlight a little bit. The sun's coming through that window up there. Oh, lucky you. It's working on my tan a little bit, man. You know. I got the trailer in the garage in the shop or whatever you want to call it in the warehouse they're going to start loading it right away which is good so we're already an hour ahead of schedule from what we're usually at when we get in here so now that you guys are able to see my whole truck i feel embarrassed that i still haven't cleaned it up so maybe i should do that now <laughs> let's start over here what's this hanging out here for what is this garbage what is this even doing in here Oh, hey, forks. Well, that's handy. If I need forks, I got forks. Where are these knives? I got tons of cutlery up there too. Why do I have so much cutlery? One second, let me put you down here, okay? I gotta deal with the situation. Yep, forks. Forks for days. Some of you might be wondering, what's it like to travel with a dog? A big dog. It's hairy. That's what. That's why this is his corner here. Right here. I put all of my stuff here for a reason. I just have this all thrown on here mostly. And then I put my sweater over like that or my jacket just to sort of make it look a little neater and cleaned up. It gets hairy. Very hairy. So uh, you got to make sure that you have a good vacuum cleaner. Ugh. And for some reason... Dogs like to bring dust into the truck too. You have an abnormally large amount of dust. So the vacuum I use for in the truck is a Shark cordless. It's not perfect, but it does the job. We have a Dyson at home, but I can't exactly afford to have a Dyson at home and on the truck. Those are $700 vacuums. So we have one at home. I got this Shark on the truck here and uh, pretty much to get all of this hair off of here, it's pretty simple. You just vacuum it off. You might be wondering how often I have to do that. 
every couple of days, I would say. Sometimes, sometimes I just leave it till the end of the week and I just do it once a week. It all depends on uh, how much hair bothers you, I guess. Hair doesn't really bother me, but it does bother me to see it in the video, so. <laughs> and I got some extra time right now, so let's vacuum it up. <laughs> Sometimes it's kind of tricky because the hair likes to get wedged in there or like grow itself in there. It's even worse on that wall over there. It's very hard to get the hair off of there. What I do then is I use some really sticky Gorilla tape and I just use the tape to get it off of there. Anyway. Then when you're done vacuuming, make sure you empty it right away and clean it out right away. Otherwise, it starts to like, starts to smell. And then every time you use the vacuum, it smells. Well, how, how long was it? 12, mm, 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 okay, two, three, four, five, six, seven. About seven hours, just under seven hours. Six and a half, we'll say, because I had to go get my paperwork and I've been sitting here for a little while cooling down. Sweating up a storm. I need a shower tonight. Finally loaded and we're on the way. The e-log says we have just a couple of hours left to drive today. Let's get as far as we can. I'm hoping to get to Clearwater, Minnesota on the other side of Minneapolis yet. That would be great. Then I don't have to deal with Minneapolis traffic tomorrow, uh, tomorrow morning. So let's do it. Let's go. I'm tired. I want to go to bed, but I also want to get past the city. All right. Time to rock and roll. I just posted a picture of my screen here, my DOT, my e-log god here, if you want to call it that. Just posted a picture of it to Instagram. Loaded and leaving. Time to rock and roll. We do have the hours to get to Clearwater. I just put it into the GPS here. Clearwater is 188 kilometers away. Just under two hours, so I'd say it's about 100 miles away. A little more than that, but 110, 115 miles away. All right, let's put her in gear. Yes, I know. I am a member of AA, Automatics Anonymous. Hi, my name is Josh, and I drive an automatic. I'm sorry, I hang my head in shame. Stop laughing at me. It's not my fault. Here we are, we made it. Clearwater, Minnesota. Petro Travel Plaza. I do admit this is one of my favorite places to stop. I usually always stop here if I can. They have so much here. And now they got these blue neon lights on all their buildings, it's just like a magnet. You just gotta go and check it out. Almost like Vegas, except not even close. We have arrived. Tell the king. Oh wait, I am the king. <laughs> We're here. Walk around the truck, do my post trip real quick, which is pretty much like a an accelerated pre-trip, like a really quick pre-trip. Just to go around the truck, make sure that I don't have any flat tires, all the lights work, that's pretty much it. Everything else I'll check when I wake up in the morning with my pre-trip. Other than that, that, that looks like that's it for today, guys. I'm just gonna pull you out of here if you don't mind. One second, oh, 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 oh. Okay, there you go, you came out pretty easy, that's good. All right, thanks for watching today. Tomorrow is another day. We're gonna make it home tomorrow, then we'll be home till Saturday morning. Uh, so we're gonna go home and get a reset. So I'm gonna drop the unit off at the yard and head back home. I'll probably, uh, depends if Britt works on Friday or not. I don't know if, it, I don't think it's her day off. So if we're at home alone with the dogs again, I'll probably work on taking down more of that dog run. I still got half of it to take down. I'd like that down before winter time. I also have a lot of uh, branches in the backyard to clean up. I've cleaned up the entire yard except the backyard now of all the trees and stuff that we cut down. I have to rake up all the tiny little branches and burn them. We'll probably do that on Friday then. Maybe I'll do a live stream with you guys. Who knows? 
I mean, if I did, you already know, because this would come out after that. But uh, maybe I'll see you then. Take care, everybody. Don't forget to subscribe down below. Even if you haven't for a long time, you've been watching me for a long time, but you haven't yet, go down below to the, the, below the description or below the video and hit the subscribe button. It helps me out a whole lot more than you think. I really appreciate it. We'll see you tomorrow.